The most despicable people, if they got suffering because of their sin or their stupidity, even that Hashem takes to consideration. And there's other proofs, which is not the time right now. Let's move on. So the next question is, someone that worship Hashem all his life, not for the sake of heaven. Lo l'shem shamayim. He fear the punishment. He fear the community. You have to know, many Orthodox people, the only reason they stay religious is because they're afraid of their community, their family, and everyone around them. The wife, the children, the parents, the neighbors, the you, uncles, etc. But if you want to go to heaven where Jews are, you want to go to heaven where Jews are. So? Is there, is that, isn't that a good reason why you want to serve Hashem? Oh, so he's asking now if a person does it for the reward. That's also a form of not for the sake of heaven, for the sake of himself. So the answer to you comes from David HaMelech. God placed you in this world for oh. purpose. So David HaMelech said what you say. He say, Shamarti mitzvotecha ala tova asher tzafanta lirecha. One of the reasons I keep the mitzvot is because I know that I'm expected to receive a huge reward when I leave this world for the greatness that you reserve from the people who fear you or follow you. So it means that if a person does for the reward, it's not a crime, but it's not the highest level. You know what's the highest level? That a person, Hashem comes to him right now, mamash, like a prophecy. He said, dear Moshe, I want to tell you something. I decided, God forbid, not you, but anybody, I decided no matter what you're going to do, I will not ever let you enter heaven, ever. I'm telling you that already now. Don't say later that I didn't tell you. I don't want to surprise you. I'm not letting you enter heaven. Goodbye. Now the question is, what do you think? This person would continue to keep Shabbat? He would continue to put filin and get up to 6 in the morning and come to shul every day? Would he continue to give tzedakah to the yeshiva? Because he lost his reward, no reward. No, you don't, you don't get that. No, Hashem. No, but no, Hashem, Hashem told him no matter. No, but Hashem told him all the mitzvahs. Yeah, Hashem already told him no matter what you're gonna do. You're going to be the biggest tzaddik in the history. You're not getting that. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Entire, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, everything you said, it's all 100% true, but it's not answering what I ask. I say, person, Hashem told him, I told him, I respect what you do, I appreciate what you do, but don't ask me why. I decided that no matter what you're going to do, I already erased you from my computer. You cannot enter heaven no matter what you do. Even if you pass Moshe Rabbeinu in your mitzvot. Where does he enter? N now, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. The question is, would the person continue no. to, to keep mitzvot because he knows Hashem wants every Jew to keep mitzvot, so he does it not for the reward at all. He knows he's not going to get reward. If he, or if, not. If he continues, it would be the highest level. Because he Very good. That consider 100% purely L'Shem Shamayim. Not to get anything, not to get kavu, not to get nothing. It won't help you in any way. You, you cannot, chas v'shalom, enter heaven and you continue to do. That's the highest level of Shmirat Mitzvot. But it's very, very difficult to reach this level because you see even someone like David HaMelech admitted that a part of the reason he was trying to be the biggest tzaddik because he also know there is tova asher tzafanta lirecha. It's not a shame. The Rambam writes that a person should really do, should get to a level that he will do everything he does l'shem shamayim. But if a person does out of fear from the punishment, the Rambam compares it to women and children. Why women and children? 
because women and children don't sit and learn in a level of an adult that can sit and learn Musar to a very high level to understand, you know, the depth, the depth of the Torah and the, and the future of, this, of the Neshama in this world and in the afterworld. So if they do because they're afraid to get punished, so it's still considered a very good thing because they do, but it's not the highest level. Better to do, why? Because Hashem said so. Because this is what Hashem is interested in. This is a very high level. So now the person that all his life did out of fear. Why? I have a friend like this. He told me the only reason I keep mitzvot, I'm very disappointed from Hashem, I'm very bitter. He never gave me anything I wanted, not wife, not children, no parnasa, not what, the way I wanted this. Everything I wanted in my life, basically, everything went the other way around. Do you ask me why I still keep it? Only one reason. I know I'm going to pay a big price if I leave it. So I stay religious only from fear from the punishment. And he keeps everything. He even gives maaser. He has a notebook. Whatever the little he makes, he gives right away 10% from the net profit. He keeps everything. Not doing a besimcha, for sure. Not. Definitely not besimcha. <laughs> Definitely. So the question now, something like this worth something or no? It definitely worth something. It's definitely worth something. <laughs> in Nefesh Achaim, Rav Chaim Ivoloji, the student of the Gaon Mivilna, chapter 4, he speaks about a person like this. And the conclusion over there, not only it's worth something, it's worth a lot. Because believe it or not, this is also a very high level of greatness. Why? Shlomo HaMelech wrote, Ashrei Adam mefached tamid. Person that fear God all the time, Ashra v'ashrei chelko. It's a great honor to be scared from Hashem, but only from Hashem. To be scared from others, it's already not so great. To be scared from Hashem, to go against Him, to be ungrateful to Him, to violate his rules, to do things that makes him upset or angry at you, that's not a busha. That's a, something that you deserve a great yishar koach for that. However, there's a greater level. That's all. There's a greater level. Hashem, even if you promise me that I'm dismissed from punishments, no punishment to you comes to you in a prophecy. Dear Yitzchak, I want to tell you that already you live 40 years of your life. I saw that you're big tzaddik. I'm telling you already from now on. I closed yeah, the part in a computer that talks about punishment. I dismissed. The computer doesn't know of you when it comes to punishment. Because I already know that you, you, does, you do not, does not die, you know, do for, for the fear of the punishment. Therefore, I dismiss punishment in your life. And he stay in the same level or higher. That's a very, very great level. What? I, no punishment and still does everything without fear? That's a very, very high level. Usually, the only way to get to this level is to be fully devoted into Torah. That your life, you cover from Torah 23 and a half hours of your life every day, you are inside Torah. If you are inside Torah and you constantly enjoy the, the greatness of Hashem in this world, then the punishment is not a factor anymore. You don't need it. Who needs it? People who in Manhattan and there's Sodom and Gomorrah over there. They don't have so much connection to, to Torah. So at least what keeps them from not doing horrible things over there is knowing that Hashem is watching and who knows what's the price they're going to pay. Understand? So that's it. Now, next question.